Previously on Resident Evil HD Remastered. Oh! Oh, bad, bad, bad! Okay, bad, bad! Don't re no Ram Blue! No Ram Blue! Got it! Got it! No Ram Blue! And now we continue. Hey, Stars members! Hey, welcome back to my Resident Evil HD Remastered remake and all that zombie jazz. In the last part, we actually got rid of the tiger. We did we did the tiger gem puzzle. And now, basically, I actually found a way how to do. It involves these three items. I heard we have to go outside and crank the thing again. And that takes care of the waterfall, which we use the elevator to get to. This is the, the helmet key is the last place. This is this door right here, the last place you the helmet key. So what we're going to do now, we're going to check out what the, what's in here with the helmet key. And then go over to, yeah, go over to where it says Titmarer Iron Box to the right. We're going to go there, unlock that door, because I have to spend the emblem key. Then we're going to find out what's in there. Then we're going to go outside and do the waterfall. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, everybody, and let's get into this. So guys, I want to tell you guys, I use the helmet key. Yes, I no longer need it. Discard it. Yes, I will. So I want to tell you guys a funny ass story that happened today, like, like two hours ago. So basically, um, in my school, what we have, we have something called the Nerd Cave, which is what the fuck, the fuck. So we have something in my in my school called the Nerd Cave, which is basically the basement is like. Anyone can go in the basement. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh, he's back! Oh my gosh, he's back! He wants round two! Oh shit, Yon wants round two! Alright, come on. Round two, motherfucker! Round two, motherfucker! Ding ding! Straight on! Ding ding! Ha! Uh uh. Round two! Oh shit, oh shit! Come on. Come up here, Yon! Come up, round two! Ding ding, motherfucker! Ding ding! Where are you? Is he? What? The fuck? He just appeared on me! Oh, there he is. I see him. I see him. Come on. Ding ding! No! Ding ding! Come on! Are you dead? What? What? Already? Are you... Wow! That was fucking easy. Holy shit. I expected more of a challenge. What the fuck? I, I wasn't even in full... I wasn't even a full clip of shotgun. I wasn't even a full clip of shotgun. Wow! I expect more of a challenge from you, dude. The, f the fuck? I mean, what the fuck? You did drop something over here, which I will be taking. I will be taking it. Let's here it is. I will be taking this. What is this? What? The last book, volume two. Did we already get one of these already? Did we already get one? Oh, this Eagle of the South and Wolf of the North. Huh, what can the words on the cover mean? So, Eagle South, Wolf North. Okay, so something we gotta do is something relates with an eagle and a wolf. That points in different direction. Does not be broken, doesn't look like to be open. Fuck, well, fuck you, knob. So, the basement in our school is basically, basically, like, anyone can go in there if they want to. We, we call it the Nerd Cave, like, a lot of, like, yeah, yeah, like, a lot of the people, like, who, like, love to play video games, who love to play card games and all that, go there, and we all named it the Nerd Cave, because... Because, to be honest, when you think of, like, magic and, like, D&D &D and Yu-Gi-Oh, you, you obviously associate that with nerds. And it's not really an insult, because I consider myself a nerd. Because, you know, you call me a nerd, it's not really an insult. I, I, I take it as a compliment. I take that as a high compliment. Like, oh my gosh, Danny, you're such a nerd. I'd be like, well, thank you. I love being nerds. And a lot of my friends love being called nerds, too. Like, we call each other nerds. So, basically, me and four of my friends, me and three of my friends, we're doing a four-way Yu-Gi-Oh duel. Which is basically, like, four four opponents, people are dueling, and it's everybody against everybody. And it it's fun as fuck, because there's so much betrayal, there is so much alliances forming, it's so fun to do. And, basically, one of my friends, he basically fucked us all up with one... Okay, crows, crows, stop it, crows! He and my one friend fucked us all up with one of his cards. Like, okay, so my one of my friends, he runs the blue eye the blue eyes and chaos max you know, deck. So basically his whole deck is built around summoning summoning out all these, you know, blue eye supports and summoning out Chaos Max Dragon, which is a big, big threat. Like, Chaos Max Dragon, he can't be targeted. You know, he does double piercing damage. He's like He's a if he's on the field, he's a huge fucking threat, and he can summon up to three of them at a time. Like I've seen him summon up to three chaos maxes on the field, which is like yes, screwed. Plus he has like you no know, 
um white dragon like um white spirit dragon like spirit of the spirit of, like dragons like that where basically it bashes a it bashes your spell traps and another one that bashes any monster it wants per turn. So basically that's like you don't want that on the field. My other friend of Anne, he had where um I forget what deck he usually runs, but I think it evolved around bringing out this XYZ that takes control of other monsters, that basically takes your opponent's monster and make it its own. That basically lets you control your opponent's monsters. And my deck is the E-Hero and Math Hero build. So basically, my whole deck revolves around fusion summoning and math change. So basically, like, my whole deck is all about bringing out these heavy hitter math change monsters that I can switch in and out at any time. And that's basically my deck is built around that, based around E-Heroes and Math Heroes. Basically, we're three giant big ass threats. Cause if he gets, if my other friend gets Chaos Max in the field, that's a big threat. If I get Dark Law, or you know, if I get like Dark Law or Acid or Elemental Hero um, Absolute Zero on the field, that's also a big threat. And if my other friend brings out his X Y Z, then that's also another big threat he gotta deal with. So basically, what my other friend did was how he fucked us over. It was he played just one card, I think. I think the card is called Zombie World. I think. He, a card called Zombie World. Every monster becomes a zombie at the store we need. Is it? Yeah, here it is. Where every monster becomes a zombie. And yes! No, for the use of the key. Discard it! Yes! So basically, every every card becomes a zombie card. Every monster becomes a zombie. And you can't tribute summon or any other summon except for zombie type monsters. So basically, we're all fucked. Since we don't have any monsters, any monsters that are zombies, we're all straight fucked. Fuck, and what is this gloriousness? So basically, we're all like, oh, nah, nah, why? And we all basically ganged up. We're all, we all like ganged up, like, okay, no, you're the biggest threat field duel right now. We gotta take you all out. Like, we gotta take you out. Biology related? What's it? Ooh, Shotgun! Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Basically, we all, we all basically ganged up with like, nah, you just became the biggest threat in this duel. We gotta take you out now. And basically, we all just like turned our attention to just destroying him. Because he, was, I'm not gonna lie, that was a really good play on his move. Mm, here's the thing. Do I go back to the item box and put these two in? Or risk going there? You know what? I don't want to risk going there, because there might be... I don't know if there's any good key items there, so I don't really want to risk it. So, I'm going to go back to... The, over here, go to the item room, put those two in the item box, and then go out and do the same with the crank. So, that was really funny. We all got super triggered. The second he put on Zombie World, and we basically couldn't do jack shit with our heavy hitter monsters, we all turned our attention to him like, ah, oh, nah, 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 nah. We're taking you out this duel. We are like, no. We are... No, can I still get this? Can I, can I, there we go. Yes, finally, I can grab this. For some reason, in other parts, I couldn't grab this for some reason. It just, it just wouldn't let me grab it. That was, like, super funny, but for those of you who play Yu-Gi-Oh, let me know in the comment section what kind of deck do you run, and, like... Like, like, what kind of deck do you run, and what kind of deck does it center around? Because I'm actually really, like, I'm actually getting really into the video, and I actually, like, you know, I'm not that good of a player. Like, I'm not, like, the best player there is. Like, I know some people who are, like, who can, like, basically game you in one turn. I know people that can do that. And it's like, whoa, like, I am nothing compared to them. But I am, like, I'm decent. Like, I can, I can give you a chip. Like, I will make you, like, I will make you sweat. I'll make you, uh, work for your way. Like, I, I will give you a decent challenge. I will actually give you a decent-ass challenge. And I'm, I'm, my deck really isn't finished yet. You know, there's still, like, a lot of monsters and other cards that I really need. I need, um, basically E-Hero Blazeman, which a lot of my friends call Forge Way Blazeman, which is like, I don't, I, <laughs> I'm starting to accidentally call that now, like, I summoned Forge Way Blazeman, oh shit, wait, I mean Flayman! Basically, um, I need him, I need one more mass change really couldn't hurt, like, one more mass change in my deck really couldn't hurt, and what the fuck, okay, where is, um, uh, I think it's this way. I'm not sure, because the map is a little bit hard to read sometimes. The map is a tad bit hard to read sometimes. So I'm going to go this way. I'm going to hope... Hopefully. So we need to go back to the... Uh, to that place where we saw the fucking snakes that came out of fucking nowhere, like the fuck. 
Like, like, why those snakes come out of nowhere? <laughs> snakes! The snakes literally they came out. The snakes came out of the sky. They're all like, I'm here for you, Jill. Oh, here we go. Here, here it is. Here it is. We go over here and we race the. Yeah, we use the crank over here. And that raises the water. And I think that also takes care of the waterfall too. <sighs> Come on, Jill, you can do it. Yeah, that raises the water, and I think that also takes care of the water. Waterfall too. The sound of the waterfall. See, no, stop. Yeah, see, there it is. But, but why do we still need the crank, though? Wait a minute, though. Then, if that's it, then why do we still need the crank? If that's all we have to do, then why do we need... Okay, so something tells me we need the crank later on. Because in Resident Evil, if you don't need something, if you don't need a key item, it tells you, like, you don't need it anymore. Get rid of it. I, I actually dare anybody to play Resident Evil and not throw away a key item when it says so. Like, you no longer need a key. We will discard it. I dare somebody to say no and play the entire game like that. It, it's like, wow. It's like, it says discard it. It saves you room. Why not discard it? Like, oh, shit. What the? F oh, I, yeah. I, de I definitely have my shotgun now. I was going to switch my handgun, but like, nah. Nah, I'm taking out my shotgun. I know there's going to be a hunter or something. I know there's a hunter around the waterfall. I know there's like a- oh shit. Oh shit. It's locked? Oh no it's not! Oh no it's not! Oh I am not ready for this! I am not ready for this! Oh what the fuck? Oh what the f- I am not- I don't know- I'm not like mazes! Oh what the fuck? Acid rounds? I'll come back for you! I'll come back for you! I'm definitely coming back for you! Let me, let me check out what's over here first. Definitely check out over here first, cause I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of shit I'm gonna need here. Gonna be a, I got a feeling there's gonna be some a lot of shit that I need that's gonna be over here. I got a feeling, nah, 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 that a bunch of key. You deep in hole. What was it done for? What the fuck? I'm confused. An elevator power source. Round lid. Open it. What the fuck? What the fuck? Where you take the shaft? Uh, what the fuck? Empty space for some of the shafts. Something seems to be missing. What the fuck? Why do I have a shaft? It appears to be some sort of key. Starting the power supply. Some of a car from the side. Oh, so maybe I need to find the other part of the shaft and combine it and have the symbols match each other. Oh, what's this? I almost missed you. What the fuck? Oh, more ammo. Thank you. Thank you, game. I almost missed you. I must miss that ammo. I have cried. I would have cried! I missed ammo! You don't want miss ammo in this game. You really don't want miss ammo in this game. It's like, you miss ammo, you're fucked. Is that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive! Stop! Are you with anybody, Jill? No. But why? <sighs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up! Enrico! Traitor? Who? Oh, what's this? Traitor? Who? Whoever did this, definitely a professional. Okay, well, that's, well, we are, well, you don't need to be professional to kill a guy. I mean, wait, he's holding something. I mean, like, he shot point blank range. Wait, take the cr Why the fuck would I take two cranks? Wait. Why the fuck would I take two? I just hate it with, like, a hexagon. Hexagon, crank, and other... Oh! And it's, like, a square. So, maybe I'd go back to the other place. Okay, but, like... We all know who the villain is. We all know who the traitor is. For those who are gonna dead, we'll who could have known? Well, basically, if you if you know Resident Evil, like you don't even you don't even know this Resident Evil. Just like just play any Resident Evil. Ah! 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 No! Ah! Fuck you, Hunter. If you finish the job, the traitor is actually the Hunter. He came here to finish the job! Spoiler alert guys, the hunter is a traitor! He's actually working for stars! Oh, he came back here to finish the job! 
You hear that? I thought that. Uh, okay, I thought I heard things, but I heard like something move. I'm like, the fuck? This more ammo? Oh, more ammo! Oh, thank you, game. You are so fucking generous. You are so fucking generous. It scares me. You're not gonna be this generous, game. Okay, what if I? What if I go here? <laughs> what if I put it in here? No. Okay. Oh, it was worth a try, though. It was worth a try. It was worth a try. So, okay, so maybe I go back, but what if I put the hexagon? What if I put the hexagon thing where the wash power would be? What would that do, really? That shit. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! No, sirree, you will die. Die? Alright, good. I'm gonna reload this shit. <laughs> why why did I reload after one bullet? Because Resident Evil. Do I have room? Ooh, wait, I don't have room. Fuck. No. No. Alright, do, do I have a room? To see that's why that's why you always need to have extra room in your inventory. That's why I did I didn't put the, those two things back and I picked up the the freaking ammo. I would not have room for the crank and the weird shaft shit. And an item box too, oh. Oh, fuck that shit, what a minute, we're getting, we're getting the acid rounds! We're gonna get the acid rounds! Give me the acid rounds! We're gonna go back and give me the acid rounds. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so, acid rounds. Oh, what's over here? No, 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 I think it's, I think it's here, is it? Yes, here we go, give me, give me the acid rounds! Give me the acid rounds! A blood boulder's blocking the way. Let's see underneath the boulder. So the boulder's gonna try Indiana Jones our ass, which I don't think I'm gonna like, cause it's blood sit under the boulder. And if I know video games, a giant fucking boulder, I mean, it's gonna be... Yeah, that's right, I played Resident Evil 4, I know what boulders do to you. I played Resident Evil 4. Like the fuck, Leon's gonna try and outrun the boulder. Fucking physics, Leon. Do you not, do you not obey them. Okay, so when we come back, we're gonna save right now, and when we come back, we're gonna be exploring this mine. I'll be taking an Ingram too. I'll be taking more, more Ingram. I got Ingram for days. We're gonna come back. We're gonna be exploring this mine and save my progress. Yes, I was the Ingram. We're gonna explore this mine, and that's pretty much all I have right now. That's pretty much all. Explore this mine and hopefully find out what the sweet diddly fuck is like. Who the traitor is? Even though we all technically know who it is. We got. We got to explore the mine. Find out who the traitor is and get ourselves out of here. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be seeing you all in the next zombie filled, traitorous hunter path. Peace out, everyone, and have a mother spectacular zombie free day. Thanks for getting me out of that place. Let's move! We can get up through there! Watch out! Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit! Oh, hey! Now I'm trying to chew, you know!